All right, gang. I love Broncos. I drive one every day. 89. I'm going to show you my collection of diecast Broncos. And they are all dusty. I have not dusted in that room in a while. And it's really telling on me. Now I have a gun rack that have that I have for three vintage Daisy BB guns in the compartment where you store the ammo and all that in that gun rack. I have these Broncos sitting there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the Broncos that I have. Now these three I honestly don't remember where I got them from. It could have been a box lot or or something. Now this one is a Harley, so I wanted to see how dusty it is. <laughs> and again, you got to bear with my my wound. Boy, that hurt. Sunday morning again, second video of the of the morning. Window Scott video was the uh, first one. Anyway, not crazy about the wheels on this one. The blue one, least favorite color, has a Ford on the glass and I like these wheels better uh, white motorcycle on the back of the blue one that's pretty good looking Bronco but blue is my least favorite color the Harley Davidson gray Bronco and I'm pretty sure that it probably came with a Harley Davidson set uh, couldn't tell you and then Mudster I like this uh, it's pretty cool looking and again they're super dusty I should be ashamed you gotta get in and clean that whole room up. Pretty good looking Bronco as well. I'm gonna show you the Hot Wheels ones first. Now, when he, when this die cast came out, uh, I had the black one. Good Lord knows what happened to that black one. I can't remember. It's coming out in sometime in the early 80s. So I know this body style ran from. 80 to 86 because I had an 86 Lariat pickup and that's pretty much the same body style might be 81 86 I can't remember but anyway I had a black one just like this and when I when I see the, the Hot Wheel Broncos and they're in the price range I'll grab them regardless of the condition they're in and most of the time they're pretty high there's a second one Oh, didn't show you the hood. Really love the hood. And again, chrome motorcycle. Playwear. All the most of these do have playwear. As I said, I'm gonna start with just the Hot Wheels ones first, because there's a sad situation on a couple of these. Now I got some real riders. I do like that one. There was something about I read about the real rider Bronco. I can't remember what it was, but there was something about a tampo or something. I, I can't remember. But this version has the gray, gray mags. This one has the white mags. Chrome motorcycle. And again, it's super dirty. I need to clean, wash these things up. Now this one, it was just a body. And, this, and you're going to see how I got it. Uh, I had a... I want to say that I got all these like in a box lot or something or got this next one in the box lot and it came with a Jeep Scrambler where the, the wheels were all bent all up on it in horrible shape. This Bronco, the top was ripped off of it as was the rubber. So I took the rubber off that screwed up Jeep, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Jeep Scrambler and I threw it on here. So there's that one. You know, I've never had top off mine, my real Bronco. That's the honest truth. I didn't know Earl made a Bronco. I had a buddy back when stores lockers were pretty uh, pretty much available and good ones. He bought one that had tons of stuff in it. And it's got chips on them. None of these are pristine. Uh, but, you know, I hate to say it, the Earl has better details for the year of the truck or the Bronco. But that's the one. I like the color a lot. 
we'll put that one over here now this is a late 70s era Bronco like 78 79 and this one they had some really cool paint jobs and I had one like this as a kid but I thought it had different wheels on I thought it's smaller wheels I could be wrong but the light bar still on it uh, I forgot who made this Zalmex I think got a Z on it the hood opens engine compartment and the hood really is not that great on this one it's got a it's hard to see and it's not gonna come up good but it doesn't have the best hood on it and then I have a silver version and it, maybe you can see it on that one see how the hood looks like it's cut that's how it came both of the hoods on both of them are like that must have been a bad mold now these two next are made by Kitco both of them are green got wood grain decals oh my god there's that first one and that decal is coming off now here's the sad thing I ran across this one, one of these on eBay and I think it was this one and I think I ended up paying eight dollars for it and I look at the tail lights and you know 70s model early 70s late 60s and Paula tail lights <laughs> but it's still a cool Bronco nonetheless like I said I paid about eight dollars for it if memory serves and good lord I'm ashamed of how dusty these things are here's the other one got for 25 cent probably uh two three weeks after I got this one same color everything I, I, I've seen them in different colors but then this, this one's in better shape but the decal the wood grain is peeling off on that one too but at least they tried they you know what can I say all right so that's the Broncos I'm gonna pause it just for a second